this is oh what a nail as Jonathan Bostic just separated Mike Willie from the football. All right, you know what it is, Fourth Quarter Boy Sports. I am your illustrious host, Professor Lake. And I'm in my euphoria right now. I'm in football heaven right now, embracing the Chicago Bears 2018 training camp. I've been checking out everything, man. I've been YouTube crazy lately. You know, I've been checking out the Bears Brothers, Chicago Bears YouTube channel. I've been on DPF Productions, just checking out the training camp. Yo, if you want to look at some really good film, of the training camp, go to DPF Productions to give you a good idea of who's balling, what they look like on the field, what Mitchell Trubisky's looking like throwing the ball. You know, if you're a Bears fan like me, you'll really enjoy it. I love the commentary on the Boomer Bus channel. You know, I'm a Bears fanatic, so anytime I could get a hold of somebody talking about the Bears, giving their input and their opinion, I'm checking it out. Matt Urich, you know what I mean? Everything, man. Uh, I've just been a little bit of everywhere, man. The most valuable podcast. A little bit of everywhere, man. But with all of that in mind, I'm going to give you guys a look at my tentative depth chart from what I've been pooling together uh, from videos, interviews, footage, of training camp and opinions from those of you that I trust that give me a lot of information uh, that I give to my followers. But you already know what it is. Fourth Quarter Boy Sports, I'm your illustrious host, Professor Lake. Let's run this down real fast. We're going to do the offense today, and then I'm going to double back down to do the defense tomorrow. So, you know what time it is. It's Fourth Quarter Boy Sports. I'm your illustrious host, Professor Lake. Like, Comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Be a fourth quarter boy for life. Hit that notification bell. Let's get into the depth chart. At quarterback, I have Mitchell Trubisky, of course. Backing him up, there's Chase Daniel. I think Mitchell Trubisky is going to really have to be great at play calling this season. He really has to get in sync with his wide receivers. And I think to his advantage, he's going to be playing in a player-friendly offense, meaning that he's going to know where to go with the football. Play is going to be designed to scheme players open. So I think that's going to be to Mitchell. Trubisky's advantage. Plus, you got Chase Daniel. He's like a second quarterback coach. Going to be able to talk to Mitchell Trubisky during the games while he comes back off to the sideline. Give me your tips. Quarterback that has been in the system and can maybe, you know, help be a secondary coach uh, to Mitchell Trubisky in between series. Next, I have the running backs, Jordan Howard, Tariq Cohen, Benny Cunningham, and Ryan Nall also making the 53-man roster. I think this year, Jordan Howard is going to get less carries, but I still think that he's going to be effective for our offense. In situations where we need to run the ball on third and short, goal line situations. I also see the element of surprise with the run game uh, being to Jordan Howard's advantage. So I still see him getting some of those big chunk yards uh, that he got for us last year and maybe every once in a while breaking a long one. Uh, Tariq Cohen, I see him being used in a passing game and outside zone runs. I still look to see him as being an integral part of the offense as well. Uh, Benny Cunningham, a veteran, uh, definitely can step in there in case one of these two guys may get injured. The thing about Benny Cunningham is that he's a little more versatile and that uh, he has been able to catch the ball out the backfield. And he's a decent running back as well. Ryan All, a newcomer, has a lot of size. He also has speed, and he's a pretty good receiver out the backfield. And, uh, you know, he made a couple plays during the offseason training camp, and I think he'll be able to make the team as well. The wide receivers group is one of the more interesting groups uh, this season for the offense, seeing that the Chicago Bears were able to make significant upgrades in this area by getting Allen Robinson, Taylor Gabriel out of free agency, as well as Benny Fowler. Uh, somebody that I see being able to play on special teams with Josh Bellamy. Also in the draft, they went and double dipped in the right receiver group as well by drafting Anthony Miller in the second round and drafting Javon Williams in the seventh round. 
think Josh Bellamy sticks around because of his speed. And, you know, it's intriguing that he finds a way to get open. It's just finding out if he can hold on to the ball in a game situation. Uh, Javon Wims, another intriguing player coming from Georgia. He made a lot of big catches for them as a bulldog. And maybe he could replicate that same performance uh, with more experience in the NFL. So I see... Uh, this being a pretty good group, and I also see them aiding Mitchell Trubisky in his development in Matt Nagy's system. Okay, the tight end position, I started to keep four tight ends, but I just didn't feel like some of the guys that they have in camp were worth keeping on the roster. I felt that maybe keeping Javon Williams might have been a little bit better for the Bears in the long run. Trey Burton, Adam Shaheen, Deion Sims, I think they're all going to be effective during the season, and I think that's just enough. Now, our offensive line, we got a couple new faces, but our starting right tackle, I have Bobby Massey backing him up. You see Earl Watford, player that we got from the Arizona Cardinals in free agency. At the right offensive guard position, I have Kyle Long, and uh, backing him up, I have Jordan Morgan. I think that this is the year that Jordan Morgan makes the roster. I think that he has become callous to the NFL. At center, I have Cody Whitehair. Backing him up, I have James Daniels, the rookie out of Iowa. Now, at left guard, I have James Daniels starting, but if it's necessary, he can swing to that center position. Uh, backing up James Daniels at the left guard position, I have Eric Cush. At left offensive tackle, uh, we have Charles Leno Jr., and backing him up, we have Bradley Sowell, a guy that's been with the Bears for about two seasons, I believe. Now, Bradley Sowell is versatile as well. I think that he'll be backing up the left offensive tackle, but also, he has been been seen playing the guard position for the Bears as well. You know, that's where I think the Bears are going with the depth chart. There's a guy that you think I missed and I should have put him in there and there's a guy I put in there that you think shouldn't have been there. Hey, look, man, leave it in the comment section. I love a good dialogue about Bears football and football in general. So just leave it in the comment section, man. You know what it is, fourth quarter boy sports. This is the illustrious one, Professor Lake. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 and uh, be a fourth quarter boy for life. Hit that notification bell. I'm out. <laughs>